It's so hard. Let's check it out. All right, we'll stop right there. So the song's in A major, uh, but we come in on the two chord, which is kind of weird. Um, so the four chords in the beginning are a B minor, a and a B minor and an F sharp minor. All right, um, and then we got a little fill. There's two fills. That's the first fill. I'll put the tab up. Straight pentatonic, right? Straight A major pentatonic. Whoops. <laughs> but he plays it differently. The first time, second time. So the first time is more of like a pull off. Second time, more picked out, okay? So the second fill, it comes in with this, I think what he's doing is he's pulling, popping the high E string. playing that riff there. A tab for that's up on the screen too. So let's listen to that again. Alright, first fill here. Second fill. First fill. Second fill. pretty simple stuff. Um, I'm playing my favorite Strat and I've got it in the uh, fourth position so I'm splitting these two coils here or they're in phase or out of phase wherever the fuck it is. So that's the that's the that's the position it sounds like he's in for um, the whole song except for the outro solo which will shift up to that position uh, which is those two pickups right there. All right. So we're going to keep this in, what is it, the second position. Okay, um, you want a little bit of chorus. I got a teeny bit of chorus on here. And uh, yeah, that's maybe some reverb. Um, other than that, there's not much happening with the sound. So let's go to the verse. Uh, the verse is going to alternate between two chords, A and F sharp minor, before we go to a pre-chorus. So let's listen, scoot back just a teeny bit here, and let's listen to the verse. Let's go a little further back here. Let's do this. Super easy. Okay, so the verse has the chords on the screen, you can see just an A and then F sharp minor. Seems so unfair. Just a stab and you mute it with your feeling seem to hurt so long. And then the pre-chorus comes, okay? So the pre-chorus is really interesting for ZZ Top. There's not very often you get this type of a chord progression in, in uh, Billy Gibbons just doesn't write like that. 
So this has got a really outside type of thing for the for ZZ Top, and I love it. I think this is one of the one of the best things he ever wrote. So the pre-chorus goes to if you feel like crying, we go to a D there, okay? To an E, C sharp minor, F sharp minor to D. If you feel like crying, go ahead and cry. really really nice you you want to get those high notes uh, in the chords especially there right so really just the most perfect Strat sound um, it, this is an amazing sounding song the whole record El Loco is awesome I think it's their best record uh, so that's it real real simple right and then we go to a chorus. Yeah, let's not belabor a point here. The chorus is just the same as the intro, except he throws in a little bit of uh, extra stuff. So let's take a listen to that. And we'll rewind a little bit here. B minor, A, but listen. Aha, now there's a little fill, right? Let's Let's scoot back a bit here. All right, do this again. B minor. A. So, this app. I swear. Guys, gosh. I'm trying something new here and using the app on my PC, but sometimes the space bar works for a for a pause, sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, so the So A minor, or sorry, B minor and A, and then he's doing a double stop kind of a thing. It's so you just middle two strings. Three times and then hammer on to four, E to F sharp, and then the A on the second fret of the G string. Come in the fill. It's kind of a weird one. It's it's based around an F sharp minor chord. Or A minor or A pen, A major pentatonic. In this case, you could call it F sharp minor pentatonic, whatever. It's that second note that's weird. Listen to that fill again here. I can't tell if it's. Something he's doing funky on that B string, but it sounds really cool. It's almost like a pre bend. All right, so tabs up there for that, um, and figure out what he's doing on that B string, and you'll you'll be able to get that right, I'm sure. And then back to the verse. Nothing happened in here. Same thing. Pre chorus. Oops. <laughs> So the second chorus, you can see he doesn't have a fill, right? It's just... And then the... And then 
the solo comes in, all right? All right, let's check out the solo. Let's roll. Not too bad not great but not too bad so he's got such you know he plays with seven gauge strings I think so his nuances are just you know incredible uh, I got nines I think on here maybe tens I think they're nines and uh, I've never really spent a lot of time trying to cop his style so uh, it's something that you know maybe one day I'll sit down and do but he's just got these little small micro bends and yeah it's just too awesome so uh, let's just go back through the solo here and break down some of these licks. They're real simple. I'm going to put the tab up on the screen for you. So here's the start. So just a pentatonic. You could also play it up here. He sounds kind of better up there, but I'm pretty sure he's playing it down here. He's, mm, how do I say this nicely? He's very lazy, <laughs> productive, or whatever you want to call it. So, and then the next lick. Yeah, nothing really happening here. Tabs all up there for you. Tabs in the link below. So there it's a... Uh... Another interesting thing is... So you have to make kind of a double stop with your hand. Because you're hammering to that note and pulling with that note. Stop with your finger, I should say. And it almost sounds like there's a ghost note here on this. It's not a, it's more of a. That's why I've got that note in parentheses. And you got that small. My bendy's probably a little out of tune. Really cool. Let's listen to the next lick. Next lick. Let's go back and hear that one again. That's a good one. Right here. It's like he starts here on the double stop on that the fourth fret here. two frets to the E, F sharp, C sharp to the E. Really nice. And then after that, Nice to have some distortion for that part. So it's just doing like a typical, typical kind of bluesy thing. All right, right.
right here, this is the lick of the solo right here. It's one of his best licks ever. So out of that... Or... Let's hear that again. Right here. So good. All right, so what makes that so good there is that he's following the changes, right? So the, the solo is being played over the A and the F sharp. Right, all that stuff we just went through. But then you have the, the pre-chorus part, right? So when he hits that D, he plays. Right, he's following that chord change. So that's why it sounds so melodic. Let's hear that again. Right here. Right. So it's a D chord, hammer on, right? This like the Norwegian wood, the worst, cheesiest, not the worst, but the most overplayed lick ever. So just hammer on to that B note and then move up. That's again, one of those moving down a fifth, right? It's a weird move. I've, I've never really played like that. And then Super cool, and then he was a listen to that, and you can hear that strat just so clearly, such a good sound. tune band here we go so, so after that ooh. maybe it's Bending's a little out of tune there. Let's listen to that one more time. Yeah, so, man, unbelievable. So real simple after that... Um, yeah, more like slide it up but yeah and then it ends with an E bend on the B super awesome man one of his best solos I think so the tabs all up there I don't want to insult your intelligence by you know breaking it down too much so that's the solo man and then we go into another verse great part here right and then from there, we just move in through another three chorus, two minute, three minutes, 18 here. All right, let's go back a little bit. Listen to what happens after this pre chorus. Oops. Here we go. Listen. Back to the uh, verse. So that's where it starts to change a lot, right? So instead of having the... So 
so hard you have a and it's the the drums kind of go double time all right listen we're not sure if it's double time but extra beats whatever Yeah, and the guitar's very subtle there, but you can hear he's doing a... Listen, listen to that there. Hear it? And a... On that A now. Hear it. All right, so let's check out this uh, outro solo. Again, we're gonna switch to the fourth position on the Strat here. And uh, that's the two uh, pickups here, right? And uh, let's see that, let's see what's happening here. it up a little bit tabs are all up there so I don't know how much I want to break down this one um, it's real simple let's just find the start of it and make a couple of comments here so it comes in with a slide up like it's an A chord here right simple stuff happening here uh, and then so it, it all the tabs there it's real simple There's not much to it. Uh, at the very end, just a so it's like he plays it five times straight, I think. on the fade out he kind of varies it around a bit so guys uh again tab chords everything's in the link below uh yeah a good one a real fun one 
and uh, I'm gonna do some more probably gonna do a lot more from the all local record there's not a lot on YouTube for that record other than tube snake boogie um, so I'd like to do a bunch of other ones from this record so those will be coming in the months to come so thanks guys and uh, if this is your first time here uh, check out the rest of the stuff mostly Nick Kershaw but a few random things thrown in there and uh, yeah we'll catch you later thanks bye bye